Hi everyone, uh, this is Diane at the Pick a Fence Greenhouse and Gardens. Today we are going to be putting some celery away. I'm actually going to freeze it. I did a little research online. You can either blanch your celery or just freeze it whole. Um, if you're going to just freeze it, cut it and freeze it, it's better to use in when you're cooking, uh, like your soups and your meats. Uh, otherwise, you know, if you want to blanch it, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not even going to waste the time because I think it'll be just fine for my soups. But do your own research and do what works for you. Uh, as you can see, I, I did, I washed all these off. I cut the ends off. And some of the leaves were kind of ugly and I cut them off. But I'm not going to get too crazy here. I'm going to trim all this, cut this all up and dice it. And then these bigger leaves, I'm going to cut them too, but I'm not going to cut them that much. I think when these will cook, it's just going to be wonderful. I just can't wait to use them. And I like to make chicken soup. I do a lot of chicken soup, and that's what I'll be doing. But make sure you do what works for you. Uh, I'm no expert, uh, but I do freeze a lot of stuff. You can also dehydrate it, and or leave it in the. You can also leave it in your fridge. I have read where you can uh, you can keep your celery nice and fresh by putting it in some water upright. Uh, I've never done it, but it's something you can try. If you ever have rubbery celery, that's what they say to do. Because a lot of this consists, the celery consists of a lot of water. Anyway, this is my first year of really growing celery. And it didn't get real big. The stalks didn't. I'm not an expert at cutting, <laughs> but I'm just going to do some dice in here. And if there's... This isn't rocket science, you know, cut the, you know, how you would want it in your soups or your meats, however you use celery, okay? That's about right for me. If they say it probably will turn into mush, but when you're cooking with it, it's, it'll be fine, okay? So we'll get this done. It's not going to be that much, but there's quite a bit out in the garden yet. So I'm hoping I can get, you know, another harvest out of the deal. Okay, getting toward the end here. Okay, and some of these leaves, I'm just going to actually, I might put them in the bags whole or just pull the leaves off. I really don't think it matters what you do. Okay, whoops, <laughs> I go flying. But as you can see, I'm going to have a little bit here. So it's going to be kind of nice. So once I get these all cut and pulled apart, we'll bag them. And I wish I had some smaller bags, but I don't. I kind of figure what I would put in. Actually, this is what a guy can do. Uh, put quite a bit in a bag and then it's crunchy. You know, when it freezes, you can always, you know, pull some off of it. Bust some off of it and just take what you need. And you can do that with different things. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put quite a bit of this in the bag. Of this, I'm actually going to put the leaves in, in one bag, in a couple bags, and then the celery in the other. And make sure you get all your the air pockets out. Okay, when you, when you go to seal them up. And then the next freezer bag, make sure you date your bags. That's important. Sometimes I got stuff in the in the freezer that's been in there for a long time. And it's just kind of crazy. I'm gonna take these and go just go like that. And how nice is that gonna be to bring out for soups? I think it's gonna be wonderful. So that's just basically how I how I'm putting away my salary, how I'm gonna freeze it. Um, you can also just use it fresh if you if you're cooking for the evening. Go ahead and do that. I mean, that's fine. But I got a few more here I'm going to cut. And we'll be done. I hope this has helped in some way today. It's not that hard. You know, freezing is so quick for me. And that's why I do a lot of freezing. It is, it's just so quick. And I, dehydrating takes time and it takes electricity. And I like to just freeze this stuff and that way it's done and, and hopefully I use it within the year because that you don't really want these sitting around more than a year okay 
they probably, you know, aren't, they're probably not going to be so good after that. So I got a few more these little stalks here. But the stalks aren't big, but they, it sure smells like celery. It smells really good, actually. So that I'm going to have a little bit here. I'm, not, I'm just going to put it, I'm actually going to, these probably won't pull apart. Probably going to get kind of mushy. I don't know. Maybe they will break apart in the freezer. What do you think? Well, I'm going to do a couple bags of it, just in case. And then, you know, that'll be it. So that's about it of freezing celery. I love, oh, I love the smell of this stuff. It's just so great. I made salad dressing last night, homemade, but it called for celery seed. And I suppose if I dried these, um, I wonder if I couldn't put a little bit of celery, you know, among within with with my dressing. I think, yeah, I don't know why that wouldn't work. All right, and I could probably put some of this in it right now if I wanted to. But one of these days, I'll show you how I make that dressing. And that's another whole nother video. But there you go. This when I get this flattened out, try to get as much air. I don't have a sealer. We'll try to get as much air out as I can. And then when this freeze, I'm going to freeze it flat. And then when I want to open it, I'm just going to break off a little section of what, how much I need. It's not very much, but it's sure a good start. Okay? I'm actually going to cut some of this celery leaves up a little bit. Because when I throw that in, it might work a little bit better. So we'll cut them up. And they'll probably pull apart too a little better when they're frozen. I'll let you know how that goes. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So we got a bag of the stalks and two bags of the leaves. Let's see how this works out. I think it'll be just fine for what I'm going to use it for. And I dated them and they're done. So that's going to be nice. Uh, this celery, this was all from the garden, from my garden. And it's really nice to be able to grow your own, grow your own food. So there you go. All right, I let these guys freeze up, and I have to show you how handy these are to use when you cook, especially for soups. So let's open them right now. I have to show you how nice the celery froze up. Check it out. Very nice in single pieces. I love it. So now all I got to do is pull a few out at a time. Works great. I'll show you the leaf section right here. These actually done the same thing. I can take and I can crumple as much up as I want and put them in the soups. So there you have it. Freezing celery worked. That works great. Actually, uh, put them in some hamburger soup I just made. So it works great and I'm pretty pleased with it. Thanks for watching everyone.